Hello and welcome to the spirit and the mouse. Our story begins on a cold, rainy night in the quaint village of San... Saint... It... Claire. All the villagers sheltered in their warm homes, hiding from the ominous storm looming overhead. Not everyone was so fortunate as to be warm and dry this night. Run, little mousey, run! <laughs> run, little mouse! It has been a long night for this little mouse. Alone in a village, unaware of her presence, the mouse found herself searching for a feeling of purpose. Unbeknownst to her, life was about to take an unexpected turn. Ooh, what's this? The mouse saw unhappy humans and longed to help. But she was just a simple mouse. What could she do? If only the humans had a little help from someone with their problems, the mouse thought. Surely they would be happier. No, the scarf is blowing away. Ha! A way to make the humans happy. I shall retrieve their scarf. The mouse saw what happened and thought. She could climb that big pole and bring back the piece of cloth. This was her chance. Tonight, she could finally make a difference for someone. Tonight, she will bring back even a little happiness. That is far away. Oh.
That seems very expensive. Hmm. Where do I go? Can I climb up these? Yeah. No. Up the fence? No. Where does I... Where does I go? Where does I go? Oh, I follow the, the thingy. But how do I get up there? Hmm. How do I get up this? Can I go in the building? Can I sneak under here? Hmm. Where do I go? I'm just saying there's a way over here. Oh, well, can I climb this? Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> I'm such a very thick mouse. Watch out, mouse, don't get struck by lightning. Oh my god, don't actually have the mouse get struck by lightning. No. Mouse, no. Mouse, no. Mouse, no. Don't <laughs> get down, little mouse. There's a cyclone forming. Or a tornado. No, mousey. Oh my god, they killed mouse. Hey. Hello? Hello? You down there. Wake up. Ah, finally. I thought you were dead, or worse, ignoring me. It looks like the impact charged you with electric energy. My energy. Come back up here to the lightning rod. We need to talk. Don't waste my time scampering. Just use that electrical wire box over there. Get close to the box and shock it. You have my powers. You might as well use them. And hurry up. I'm a, I'm a fucking Pikachu. I've become Pikachu.
Hmm, adequate. Most people can't handle their first wire and end up a little toasty. Whatever prompted you to climb up here in the first place? What matters... Oh. Whatever prompted you to climb up here in the first place doesn't matter. What matters is you've unconvinced me. Because of you, I'm stuck inside the lightning rod. Oh, this is so humiliating. So come back here and shock it to free me. Zap. So you can show it to the little mouse. You. You. Do you have the faintest idea what you just did? Why did you climb up a lightning rod like this in the middle of a thunderstorm? Did you have a death wish? And why did you have to choose today of all days, me and my cursed luck? Why, why did they think it was a good idea to send me to this pitiful village? And you, heck, you are a mortal creature. What are you? Some kind of rat? A mouse? Oh, of course, clearly. Pardon me. You don't get it, do you? Allow me to explain. My name is Luminon. I'm a spirit guardian. The other guardians and I are sent around the world to help humans. Humans don't know any of this, of course. Without, without our assistance, humans would truly be helpless. But what else can we do? Someone has to help them. But our collision was so violent it transferred most of my wondrous powers to you. Now I'm stuck on this rod and cannot fulfill my duty. A spirit guardian such as myself stuck on Earth? This is humiliating. And all your fault. You need to take responsibility and help me. I can't believe I need to rely on a mortal creature. But I have no choice. Perk up those big ears. Fortunately, this was a routine spirit guardian job. The assignment was to check on the village. We had reports of an alarming number of troubled villagers. This simple job was very important for the maker. It's the it's only natural you have to complete this task now. Once you help a human, they'll generate excess happiness. Enough of that and I can leave. Did you understand everything? I hate to repeat myself. Good, good. Now, start by going to the eastern part of the town. I can sense troubled humans around there. Head down the gate there. You can't miss it. I suppose since you've got some of my powers, you might as well use them wisely. I will give you more information once you reach East Street. Now, off you go. Don't come back until you've got at least one piece of happiness. I can't spend all night on Earth, so you better be quick. Can I, like, do I take fault damage? Whee! Please don't die. I don't, okay. 
<laughs> There's a squeak button. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shiny pinks. East Street. Mouse. It's me. Can you hear me? Thanks to my wondrous powers that you currently have most of, we can communicate across great distances. This is your first time helping humans as a spirit guardian, but fortunately, I am here to show you the way. Don't get used to it. I won't hold your paw every step of the way. See that building with the bright windows? There are humans inside. A spirit garden's duty is to help the troubled humans of this world. We can sense their emotions. These humans are in need of help. Get close to them and you'll be able to overhear their conversation. And don't worry, they won't be able to see you as it's dark outside. Now go on, scoot, be quick about it, I don't have all night. Did you get that, Mouse? Once we solve their troubles, the happiness they generate will help me get my strength ba back. The humans are mostly right. The antenna might be faulty, but something else is going on up there. Hmm, that's quite a climb. How do you mortal creatures tolerate scurrying around? At the top, you'll find the antenna and a very special device. Why am I handling such a simple job like this? They should have already fixed all this. I swear, the maker. Those little... Kiplins never get anything done. Enough dawdling. Climb up the roof above the cafe and find the antenna. Shoo! Boah. 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 Oh, wait, how do I? Oh, I have to go that way. Zap. After closer inspection, there is a label that says East Antenna. Do you want to turn it on? Yes. Malfunction. 25 energy required to reboot. Shocking shiny objects to find energy. Shiny 
Shocking shiny objects to find energy. Sap. Oh, okay. I guess I like store static. Sap, sap, sap. Wait, but I, I got this energy. I can't pick. Oh, wait. never mind. But I couldn't pick it up. That's more than 25. Feed me. Yum. Starting boot sequence. 50%, 90%, Hello, world. Access denied. Unauthorized personnel detected. Rodents are not registered in the Spirit Guardians database. Updating database. New personnel added. Name, no. Role. <laughs> Spirit. In... To... My god, I'm terrible at English. Spirit Guardian. East Antenna. Not functional at this moment. East Antenna cannot be powered. C Kiblins are currently missing. Kiblins are part of the Kiblin blocks. Necessary for powder reboot. Can you find and bring back Kiblins? Help is required and appreciated. Thank you, Rodent. Insert appreciation message. Activating KTS. Analyzing KTS. KTS activated. Disabling Kiblin's camouflage. You, if you needed assistance in locating the Kiblins, we provide Kiblin tracking service. Speak to us for help. Thank you. Mouse! Now that you've woken the Kiblin box, you have to look for the Kiblins. Try not to do a poor job and damage my reputation, will you? I must rest. Return to Self Square when you've collected happiness. Hmm. What can I do? That thunderstorm sure was strong. Ha. Huh. Hello. Can you see me? Ah! How is that possible? The Kiblin camouflage should be working. Only spirit guardians can command the Kiblin box. How could a simple mouse... What? Lumion sends you here? And you're his assistant? How could this happen? I see. That's definitely a tricky situation. But I can help. I will send a message to the Kiblins in town. Ex Explaining the situation. That way, they will be expecting you. Us Kiblins usually stay in our assigned Kiblin box and generate electricity. But sometimes, like tonight, we get out in the wild. We may not be the brightest, but the well-being of humans is our top priority. We love to perform good deeds. Since you're tonight's spirit guardian, I'll let you know how to help me. My name is Kick Cable. By the way, nice to meet you. Make sure the antenna and the other related devices function properly. I'm some kind of uh, signal master, if you will. I'm trying to fix the main antenna right here. Do you think you could assist me? Marvelous! The big antenna broadcasts the TV signal to all of the town, which means right now, no entertainment for anyone. 
This is particularly awful because tonight is the season premiere of my favorite TV show. Annie is about to announce the Sebastian that she's Jean's long lost child. To Sebastian that she's Jean's long lost child. Meanwhile, Sebastian is going to confess his love to Emily. Do you even know what a TV is? From here, I can reboot all the satellite dishes, monitors. Check this out. Just shock those satellite dishes to have them point towards the big antenna. I'll be calibrating the signal. Come back to me once you've positioned all three satellite dishes. Oh wait. Use this wire to go down quickly. Good luck, mouse! Oh, hello. Are you the mouse Kickable told me about? The one who's acting as our spirit guardian tonight? Amazing! I could really use your help right now. You see, I'm a new Kiblin here. I don't have the required knowledge to be able to help Kickable up uh, with his antenna issues. I came to the town a mere 20 years ago or so. Because I'm still a fresh recruit here, they gave me a simple mission to start with. Kickable asked me to grab the letters that fell from the mailboxes during the thunderstorm and put them back in. But as I'm new here, I feel completely lost in this town. Will you go with me and find the mail on the ground so I can put it back in the mailboxes? Thank you, Mouse. As soon as I am done, I will go back to the Kilbin box. All the mailboxes are located in this neighborhood. Okay, well now I have two jobs. All the mail on the ground. They must have a lot of friends. Buy one, get one pizza. Vote Jean for mayor. Marcel Electricity. 2424. What weird names, but they sound like nice people. The mail is back in the mailbox. Only four left. It's the buy one get one pizza person again. They must have a lot of square pizzas. It looks like they're all friends. What a wonderful town this is. The mail is back in the mailbox. Only missing three. There's some kind of rigid rectangle in this. It comes from... Bank. Do you think it's a snack? Whatever it is, Bank must ha be generous, folk. I'll put it back in the... I'll put it back with care. Are you sure it's not a snack? The mail is back in the mailbox. Looks like we're only missing two. What's that? How do I get that? How do I get up there? Hmm. Oh, that lets me like climb up there. I don't know if I want to go up there yet. 
still have to find the mailboxes. Our mailbox up here. Hmm. hmm. And yes, all the mailboxes are over here somewhere. Was down here. Mail. Hmm. Lots of lots of taxes. Urgent mail here. This taxes person must be eager to have some news, or they wouldn't want to. They wouldn't want that mail to be lost. Well, we wouldn't want that mail to be lost. The mail is back in the mailbox. The next one is last. Mailbox over here. Might be one up there. There we go. These people don't have much mail. Do you think they don't have friends? Well, they have a big red label that says no ads on their mailbox. No wonder people don't want to write to them. Hmm. Well, maybe this ads person is rude. Anyway, no mail might be left on the ground on my watch. The mail is back in the mailbox. Well... I think that's it, right Mouse? Everyone will be happy to read their mail tomorrow. I hope that I too will receive some mail one day. Maybe from you, Mouse. Without you, I would have never... I would have been so lost. I really enjoyed your company. Now I must go back to the Kremlin box. The Krib... Krib... Kriblin box. Like I promised. Good luck, Mouse. Ooh, a lot of electricity. Well, I think I will leave this episode here, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.